how's it going we have had a lot of rain in the last couple of days and we've had national flooding uh, well a national state of emergency up just in Buller just north of us and Westport has really been hit where Buller River comes out uh, these are some photos from a civic defense from before and after and yeah they've been hit really really hard I think it was mostly in my catchment area as well whereas most of the rain here fell on our coastline and got taken out to sea pretty quick but um yeah we've had i'm just standing at lake lake brunner here and um yeah you can see how high the uh the lake is i mean it's swamped the base of those trees now and normally it would go out to a good 10 centimeters 10 centimeters 10 meters or so from the, the base so um yeah it's been wet very very wet uh, this video was filmed a couple of weeks ago and when we were doing heifer teat sealing so we were basically teat sealing heifers to stop them leaking milk when they get very bagged up just before calving because as soon as milk leaks milk goes out one way it means bacteria can go up and in and cause mastitis so by teat sealing the heifers and the heifers are the cows which haven't had a, a first calve yet so this is their first calve we're going through and we use a tea sealing trailer so we load them up five or six at a time in the trailer and we go in seal them and then the next roll, roll comes along and yeah we work our way through it As I said, the reason that we seal these heifers' teats is to stop bacteria going up because it's a very important time for the other development in the heifer going into her first lactation. Any mastitis which she gets now or before she calves can really hamper her other development, which will affect production, but it also makes her really, really sick as well. And it's a real shame to go through raising these cows for two years only to find that they're actually buggered after having mastitis in two or three quarters really. What we're doing is we're cleaning the, the teat tips with cotton bud soaked in meths, uh, so surgical alcohol and what we're doing is we're starting with the front teats and we're working our way back to the back teats and we're just making sure that teat end is really nice and clean because the last thing that we want to do is push any bacteria up into the udder itself because unlike when we're using dry cow which is an antibiotic uh, this teat sealant is not an antibiotic it is purely there to create a seal now a heifer will normally form a seal on her own naturally however because I believe that we have bred so much for the dairy and the actual quantity of milk that these animals produce now when they get close to calving, they really do bag up a lot and have a lot of milk ready to go in that udder and that does cause a lot of pressure and this can actually break the natural seal which they get so we're sort of just creating an artificial seal for them and this is easily stripped out when when they come into milk and we're just following up with a little bit of teat spray just to keep that area clean and kill any bacteria on that on the sealed others just for the time being. I think this is just a generic setup. We don't move at all, do we? No, well, usually. we've only got two. I don't know. I'm just pushing my chest towards you. Um, it's only this one that our arms are Your balls are in the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't do my job, my boss. Video. <laughs> I can't do my job, my boss's balls are in the way. <laughs> <laughs> so you could just put a light on your GoPro. Or like yeah, you I was thinking that. Strap a head torch to your GoPro harness. Mm. Oh, yeah, you, know. you could call it torch. <laughs> Chest torch. Good to go. Good to go. Maybe I wasn't as effective as you on the rice ones. <laughs> You're not scary enough. 
need to give you, real low voice. You need you authority. You need to rock the decibels a few. Like you're in singing voice. <laughs> yeah. A bassist. I'm not doing very well with counting to four today. My spirits? Yeah, like, were you broken up your spirit? Oh. Uh. <laughs> I thought that's what you were asking. <laughs> no, I just drank beer yeah, last night. Flicker by. 